and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Jund Dinosaurs to start off this Rank Up Sunday. Looks like Hawkeye wants to be part of the show today. Um, but yeah, so we're doing Rank Up Sunday, so we're going to be playing like five matches with each of our ranked decks here. And uh, then we have a donation deck to finish out afterwards. Um, but I haven't played Jun Dinosaurs with Rampaging Ferocidon yet. And actually, I don't even know if I've played against Jun Dinosaurs with Rampaging Ferocidon. I haven't really seen it yet. And I uh, wanted to get some more Rampaging Ferocidon action going on because it's a card that my opponents have not been playing against me. I can understand if people haven't been wanting to craft this card uh, if they don't have in their collection with it rotating out in about 19 days now. Um, so we're, we're getting two Ferocidon decks. We're, we're running back that Rakdos Aggro that we played earlier on um, in the week that looked really impressive with Ferocidon, and we're also going to try out some Jund Dinosaurs. This specific 75 was a 5-0 list from the Magic Online uh, 5-0 lists, and it looks pretty good. It's not playing Unclaimed Territory, which you see with a lot of Jund Dinosaurs decks. And instead is a playing a lot more forest because we're trying to have turn one land war elf. I guess with having like the Ferocidon, uh, we want we're going with land war elves where we can have turn two rotting regisaur or rampaging Ferocidon or even Domri, and you know, we can we can skip the two drop slot sometimes. Um, usually you see the, these decks just have like you know the four raptors, four hunt masters, um, maybe even the uh, the green and a white human that is adds a man of any color and gets plus two plus two for dinosaurs i forgot the name of that card drover the mighty there you go usually you find like a drover the mighty or two also but no land war elves so i thought that was interesting to try so let's try this version with with uh land war elves and we got two they have two ferocidons in the main deck and then two more in the sideboard for necessary matchups so it looks pretty good let's see how it does So we're going to play some ranked matches with Jund Dinosaurs. All right. All right. Well, welcome, everybody, in here. I can't see the chat too well because Hawkeye's blocking my view. But Yeah, basically, for what the best brawl, brawl precon is... Um, I, th I think the Knights may be the weakest, but I don't know. They, they seem like they're honestly pretty well, pretty well, um, leveled out. Like they have a good overall power level. Hey, Moxie, good morning. So we're keeping we're keeping two communi with the dinosaurs. Oh, it's early. <laughs> we're keeping the hand with two commune with dinosaurs and kind of seeing how it works out for us. Alright, rotting regisaur. Yeah, Hawkeye's getting his camera time in. Hey, P. Jelly. I definitely want to savage. Well, it's like, is it better to go ripjaw or double savage stomp? Probably ripjaw, to be honest. Okay. 
Because this, ma this means I could have lethal next turn. They're down to 13. We have 11 power in play. And then Savage Stomp puts a counter on. So it could be 12, 13. So we could have uh, lethal if there's only two. Like if they're like tapped out and only have two blockers kind of thing. But fortunately it's likely a God's willing here. I really hope it's not. But it likely is. That was the... Ferocidon plus God's Willing was certainly the best thing they could be doing. Or sorry, Feather plus Feather plus God's Willing. One more chance. So the problem with attacking with the Rotting Register is they get to just chump block with the Legion War Boss. And I'd kind of rather them have the Legion War Boss in play. No. That's not true. I should just fall with Ripjaw Raptor. Okay. No, because the Savage Stomp is green, so the Savage Stomp has to, you know, ha like we have to target with Savage Stomp, which is green. That doesn't work. But Savage Stomp looked awesome. Like that card quite a bit. Can we get four of those? So our sideboard basically has, you know, we have Duress Fry Coil. Um, I think I want all of the Duress Fry Coil, honestly. Now that does mean. I think that means that. We're not going to really play like the mana accelerants because I think if this is, you know, I want to have like removal early and then my, I still want the dinosaurs. Like, I don't think taking out the dinosaurs is the way I want to be going. Do I want Ferocidon in here? I'm not sure. 3-3 three, three is kind of small. So Ceratops, Ferocidon, I don't like how like these cards die to uh, the, I don't know, whatever that, um, the three damage spell, whatever that thing's called. Like I said, it was Marauding Raptor. I think maybe I take out those two, though. And then... Trim these mana creatures. All right, actually, I'm taking out, I'm taking out a Galta. It may be hard to cast Galta with all these extra spells in our deck. So taking out a Galta. A lot of cyborg cards.
So coil is a one for one. Defiant Strike is as well, but if like we play a li little bit later game and they draw a feather and then they just go feather Defiant Strike, that could be a lot more valuable. So I'm going to take the Defiant Strike. Where the coil is going to like just kill my Ferocidon, basically. Alright, so they probably have a God's Willing. Still my best play. I hope not. Yep, that's unfortunate. Vanguard. No accord, no peace. I've lived with animals my entire life. Explains a lot, actually. Splash. Boys. Really? Really auto tap? You wanna just leave me with without a green source? So Savage Stomping with that thing means I have two four toughness creatures that can deal with the Danto Vanguard. I think it's still worth it to attack though, because we have this uh you know, it is a trampler. Yeah, it doesn't always work out how you want. But also now this thing would, would get above a feather as well. That works out. John Dinos. Looking good. <laughs> this deck is Dino Might. We gotta get Ferocidon in there. Huh. I guess they could be playing Settle, I guess. Kind of wanted to see what they, you know, like if. You know, like basically their mannerisms, you know, we, we show a lot of strength. It looks like they weren't worried. All right, GG's. Yeah, All right, well, rank up Sunday's already started.
GG's. So we saw how crucial Rampaging Ferocidon was. We played it, and the game ended immediately on that turn when we played it. So obviously that card is pretty broken. Hey, J. Gomez. Uh, yep, this looks pretty good. Hey, Nate the Insane with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much, Nate. I really appreciate that. Hello. That was honestly a pretty good commune with dinosaurs for us. We didn't grab, we didn't get a black source. Well, there we go. But we only saw one land out of the five cards, so we put four other spells to the bottom. So it's more likely that we find another land. Espa. Well, against Esper. This hand isn't great, and now actually I don't I don't actually want more lands anymore. <laughs> so we drew land three, land four. We don't need to draw anymore. Okay. I went with Ferocidon because of Oath of Kaya. I don't think they gain life with Oath of Kaya. If they Oath of Kaya Ferocidon over these other things, I don't think they do. But unclear. Um, man, playing another creature in Akaya's Wrath is just really rough. All right, we really don't need more lands <laughs> deck. Yeah, I didn't think they would gain life. I'm but not playing creatures because timing. of like that kind of stuff is also rough. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Madness into high gear. Oh, I wish you could see your face when I'm beating you. It's gonna be tough for us. We wanna find our ceratops and Regisaur Alphas. nothing but they have a lot of good efficient removal for our creatures so this is honestly a tough like this is this is a tough matchup for the john dinos i think mm. you know what i haven't been seeing I haven't been seeing too much vampire, too many vampires around either, honestly. Yuck. Push your ass. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. Court Corset twenty twenty one is going to be all about Teferi. Certainly unfortunate. Just like Akaya's Wrath would be here. Uh, nothing disgusts me more than law and order. Uh. Trust me, 
I have a plan. Wow, Fairmount, that is amazing. That yeah, that is incredible. Yeah, we won't answer to other guilds. Yep, tough matchup. That's more like it. My prowess is on keep an open mind. I got one Ceratops to the bottom. Cast down is so good against my deck. I've lived with animals my entire life. Explains a lot, actually. Meditate and prepare. Man, I sure hope so, Fairmount. Sure hope so. All right. I think this is this is the bad matchup for the dinos. So we need these other ceratops. We need these duresses, and Fry doesn't hurt that much either. Um, Ferocidon's like okay, but you know, dying, you know, having the three drop die to Kaya's wrath isn't great. The mana creatures aren't aren't that great. I mean, really, our deck isn't that great here. <laughs> I mean, just Kaya's wrath cast down these things like they're they're just so efficient. But, you know, like, we're going to be playing a longer game, and just top-decking these mana creatures in a longer game is so rough. Do we want to play Brontodon at all? I feel like we might as well play Brontodon. Maybe Brontodons instead of Ferocidons. Maybe instead of Galta. Galta's pretty bad, too, because... It's just a card. It's really bad against Kai's Wrath. It's just a card that only works like it's. It's only an overextend card. Doesn't do anything but overextend. All right, we'll play this one land we're off just to get him. Yeah, Ripjaw is not great in this matchup either, but I think it's better than those other cards that were taken out. At least forces them to use a, a spell. Basically, all their cards trade for all of mine, but mine cost four and theirs cost two. And then they have card advantage planeswalkers and we don't. And they also have four mana card that is a two or three for one every time as well. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. Add, all, add it all up I'll and. Protect you. We're not winning. I've got time. I didn't yeah, I didn't make this list that we're playing here. But I mean Veil of Summer while and while it is an option in the sideboard. Really? 
They have Duress in their deck? Are you kidding me? And then I draw a spell. Like one of the very few spells in our deck, I draw it right whenever they cast Duress. Are you kidding me? Ugh. Sometimes you're just not meant to win. That's for sure. Don't worry. I got Yeah, Candice, so I was thinking about still doing your deck. I know you were talking about wanting your deck third yesterday, but with doing the early stream. I was gonna do yours fourth still. Which is which would be like the third slot normally. So we don't want to play Rotting Registor until last, because otherwise, if we play it early, then they can go to our upkeep. We have to discard a card that could be useful, and then they kill Rotting Registor. So they could. So Rotting Registor is also a built-in two-for-one for our opponent. Another thing that's just rough. Found a matchup I never ever want to play again. I don't think I ever want to play this deck against Asper ever again. That was miserable. You have a, if I cast an ETB, it has stack. Yes, so with Zakama, if you yeah, if you cast Zakama, whenever it enters, then the ability will go on the stack to untap your lands. And so your opponent can respond to that trigger and kill Zakama before your lands untap, but then your lands your lands will untap whether Zakama is still there or not. Okay, back to Hmm. Looks like we're back to Feather. Feather opponent has a lot better hand though, being on the play. Already attacking for six here. Better hand than last time. We'll see if we can still outrace. So playing Shifting Ceratops would, would simply mean that I need to, or like playing, not need to, but yeah, Shifting Ceratops would just get killed by the Arcanist. So we're going to go Domri here and fight. Ooh, I look forward to seeing you running away. Yeah, still fight Arcanist. When I'm finished here. There'll be nothing left but dust. Ooh. 
This deck doesn't have Legion's End in it, does it? That feels really weird. Playing a black deck without Legion's End, that feels really weird. We will rise again. So Rotting Registrar may die to um, Reckless Rage if their last card's another Reckless Rage, okay. But I, I like making them pay for life there. Um, So attacking puts them down to four. What? Why would you not block and pay four life? I guess worried about Collision Colossus? So I was, I was definitely expecting them to just block and pay for life, but it was still worth it, in my opinion. These Adanto Vanguards are not very valuable anymore. Countdown timer is going again. All right, we'll reset after this one. All right, so last time I brought in Duress, Fry, Coil, and Cut, Ceratops, Ferocidon, Huntmaster, Lanwar Elves. That's what I did last time. Um, but actually, yeah, I want a Galtagon. Let's go with this. Just play a couple land or elves. Maybe we have it, maybe we don't. But we still have a whole bunch of one and two mana stuff to be doing, like now that we have duresses and two mana removal. Pretty good hand. Need to draw a land. But I'm a fan. Duh. I do think I just I duress on turn one because they have so many two drops in their deck, so they're probably gonna play a two drop that I'm gonna want to coil. Oh, well now we have a two drop that we want to play also. Tenth District Legionnaire, huh? I meant Dire for the Daredevil, that was the one I was surprised about. Don't mind me, just doing fair things over here. Just having a six power two drop 
And then putting nine more power into play, turn three, with my two mana. All right, I'm going to reset for that, that noise. All right, let's see if we get paired against something that's not Feather and not Esper. I don't mind keep, keeping playing at Feather, how it's looked so, so far. Yeah, we're just racking up the gold towards the you know uh, the next set here in 20 days. We already got 98 packs. Racking up that gold. Hmm. This looks like an automatic keep. We want to lead with Huntmaster before Raptor, because if we play Raptor first, then it just kills Huntmaster. Of course. Opponent decided not to have seven cards in hand. And just took a look at their seven card hand and ditched half of them. It's a pretty bold statement to saying... I don't need these three. I can win with just these four. Pretty bold statement. We'll see how they do there. Okay, so to temporary, temporarily get rid of that, I can just get rid of SFX volume if that bug happens until we reset Arena and then put it back. Yeah, Savage Dom's been better than Domer's Ambush so far. Um, basically just, you know, one mana better than two mana. Like, Domer's Ambush is a more powerful card at two mana, but... One mana worth it. So yeah, like, my, my opponent just wanted to see what deck I'm playing, and then they're conceding. So they know what deck I'm playing. So they mulligan to four. What kind of deck mulligans to four? I could see it being a really low land count aggro deck. Or they just had like no lands a few times in a row. Maybe I should bring in, like, Lava Coils. Bring the coils over some over some small creatures. All right, looks reasonable to me. It's not that we have. It's not like we don't know what's going on. We do know that our opponent mulliganed to four. So it's just it's less likely that that happens with you know like an an Esper control deck for example where um, like a deck with like a. a healthy amount of lands it's less likely that that you're doing that so thinking it's probably aggro and looks like it was aggro so glad we have these lava coils 
Looks like plan is working out just fine. Going with this, because next turn we could... I guess I shouldn't have. Uh. No, I, I didn't build this list in, uh, specifically. This was a list from a recent uh, 5-0 deck dump from Magic Online. So yeah, if I just play Rotting Register, they kill attack for four again, we're kind of in trouble. I think that slows down their, their clock quite a bit by just getting that thing out of there. And, on a, you know, obviously casting Communion with Dinosaurs would have been nice, but not really willing to pay the life. Can't pay the life there though. We can go haste Galta next turn. Um, I don't know Yuzu. I don't know. I I think that's just more of a I think the statement that MTGO is more competitive for standard than arena is is more of a statement by people that play Magic Online that that want to feel like they are fancy by doing that than actually true. And destroy. I don't think they can have lethal. I don't think they can kill me from seven. You know, activating night. Makes it six. If they had Soren and Sack of Vampire, it's still six. So I think we are safe to attack here. What's up, Guru? Yeah, we'll, we'll see what they got. I, I can't think of how they can do seven. Oh, uh, land... Two, three, four, five. No. No, the three, four isn't lethal either. I guess if it's if it's double lieutenant here, yeah. If it's double lieutenant, I'm it's lethal. If they had, yeah, they had to have black source lieutenant lieutenant. Oh come on, you better not have lieutenant lieutenant. After we already killed one lieutenant. All right, at least they didn't have Lieutenant, Lieutenant. Ooh, that was close. That was close.
Does definitely feel like they have instant speed removal. Well, that should be game. If they have instant, if they have, if they have instant speed removal for Galta. Oh, they gain a life. They didn't have... My opponent didn't need to concede there. Right, because lifelink, they block Rotting Regisaur. They take five, they go to one. So if I attack with both, I die. Honestly, I think my opponent would have had me there. Or... Maybe. Like, because, yeah, if I attacked out, I would have died. Because I was thinking... I was like, all right, well, they kill Galta. They, they gain one from the block. They lose. But, yeah, knock the, the life gain from Noctis Grasp. That one extra life there. Yeah. Okay, three and one. Let's play one more match here with Jun Dinosaurs. Yeah, we didn't do a whole lot to win that one with getting a, f a free game win. I did sideboard correctly with bringing in Lava Coils, though. And that helped. So I have turn one elf. Turn two, do I want to go Rotting Regisaur or do I want to go Hunt Master? If I go... I just go Rotting Registrar on two, then Ripjaw on three, and I kind of discard what I have. That could be a good draw. Temple of Mystery isn't known for lots of removal spells. All right, Rackle Guru. See you back here in a minute. Or in a bit. We're discarding Commune with Dinosaurs here. Playing Galta. So I can play Marauding Raptor and Galta, but then I have to discard Ripjaw Raptor next turn. Wow, they just took that. It's either that or just play Galta, and then I can discard Marauding and follow it up with Ripjaw. I think it's probably better to go with Marauding. So that's a pretty good turn three, right? is pretty busted. Yeah, turn three, Galta. So turn three, what do we have? Uh, 22 power in play. It's a lot of power. I mean, our opponent's over there about to play their sixth, ma sixth land. Turn four Cavalier Thorns. That card's pretty good. I don't think they've played a land yet. All right. 
want to know. I mean, they, they could have double chomped and only taken nine. That was like the only blocks they could do. I feel like Ferocidon's more valuable than Ceratops for this matchup. You know, Ferocidon has Menace, make them lose some life whenever they play these creatures. That's all I want to do. No, I mean, if the, the Cavalier Thorns blocks the 12 12 Trampler, they take six. Risen Reef blocks the 7 6, they take zero. And then they would take another two from the two, three, and they take another one. So they would have only taken nine. They were at 13. So they could have just taken nine and gone down to four with the double chump block. It's one of these, I, I'm keeping Forest, I'm keeping Llanowar Elf, and I'm keeping Galta. So it's it's one of these four that I'm putting back, either a Commune or Ramp, a Ferocidon or a Marauding Raptor. Put back a Commune. Ugh, should have put back Marauding Raptor. Gonna negate that? Do they have negate in their deck? You gotta be kidding me if they have negate. Oh, ether dust. All right. Um. All right, they've had a couple of Ether Gusts, but like, those are good cards. But as you see here, they only got two cards left. Ow. They play a creature, they take a damage. There we go, Ferocid Dawn. And then... Still had a menacing creature, even if they played like a 5 6. All right. Well, looks like Rampaging Ferocidon has a heartwarming redemption there. Where's our Gen Dinosaurs? Here it is. <laughs> Jurassic Park still great. So we 
we did have a really, really rough matchup looking against the Esper Control. Um, and our sideboard doesn't really have much for Esper Control, that's for sure. Um, you know, we'd have, like, Duress and Ceratops. It's kind of about it, but, you know, we didn't really draw those at all. Um, but besides that, you know, we played against four creature decks and really liked where we are at with the creature decks. We just went bigger than them. This, you know, this deck packs a really big punch. And uh, I don't... So with that being said, I don't love our sideboard. I don't really like these fries. I would think that having a couple Legion's Ends in our sideboard for, like, the um, Field of the Dead decks would still be good, even with Ferocidon. I think it's... And just, like, even against, like, the other aggro decks, like Vampires and stuff, like, just having some Legion's Ends. The card is just so so strong. So I, I think that, like, the three Lava Coil, two Fry, maybe want, like, two Lava Coil, three Legion's End kind of thing instead. Um, which I guess I could do that, so... So if we had like three legions end and two coil, I, I just don't really like fry. I don't really like Brontodon either. Um, I'd kind of rather just have like you know Brontodon can destroy an enchantment like against like Nexus, but we can put up a pretty fast clock, especially with having the duresses. And there's just not very many artifacts and enchantments. Like I don't think Brontodon is necessary at all. Um, so I'd rather have some kind of Planeswalker for aggro. I, I don't know exactly what Planeswalker that is that I would want. Because we would just click this. Or sorry, Planeswalker for, for Esper. So I'd want something. I don't know if it's if it's like this Chandra. Like Chandra Fire Artisan. If it's uh, one of, like we you know one of these things. You know, I could I could see like basically any of these Vivians or Nissas. Um, not really four mana Vivian, but the other ones. Uh, Angrath's a, Angrath is a really good card. The Domri Chaos Bringer gives your creatures Riot and also gets you more creatures. I think that's probably the one I would lean towards. But I could see, you know, I could see like playing Nissa's or or something else to Nissa Vivian. Those those cards are really good too. But I think I think that would help out the Esper matchup quite a bit um i don't see the thing the problem with veil of summer as it, like even as we saw like both like the two games we played against esper veil of summer would not have been very good because they just had three mana to fairy out the whole time and so you, you have to you know kill three mana to fairy before veil of summer works and so yeah um not sure if we, you really need it uh, it does, you know, Veil of Summer does certainly help out against, um, you know, more counterspell heavy decks like your your blue decks. Hey Academy. No, I don't. I don't really want. That's the thing. I don't really want Noxious Grasp or Fry. I mean, well, Noxious Grasp maybe. Noxious Grasp is definitely better than Fry. I don't really want Fry though. Um, but I would like this. Like I would try this sideboard. Like just, you know, we have we have our Duresses and Ceratops, but then just have a couple of card advantage engines. The you know card that doesn't die to Kaya's wrath that that also gives your creatures haste you know giving your creatures haste is a really good way to kill the planeswalkers um, yeah you know, like they Kaya's wrath you give a creature haste you kill a planeswalker kind of thing so I think I think Domri could be a really good card for that matchup but there we go that's Jund dinosaurs so very good start here to rank up Sunday we'll take that four one every time that's a definitely a really good record and the deck felt pretty good. Hey, corn lover. But if you're watching this later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed the video. And if so, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. I'd appreciate both of those. Also, leave comments. I always like seeing the comments that you all leave. Uh, but thanks so much for watching some Jun Dinosaurs, and I'll see you for the next video.